right? And the 95. This video is going to hopefully become a series of me making a video every month about something I'm interested in. Now, what could be for this month? Rhythm Heaven has had a bit of a rocky history, starting with the Japan exclusive Game Boy Advance game, Rhythm Tengoku. Rhythm Tengoku is a weird game. This review won't go over every minigame in every game in the series, because otherwise it would be an hour long. I don't have the intent to span to edit or record that. But I can talk about a couple from every game. In Rhythm Tweezers, you just pluck hair from vegetables. In Sneaky Spears, you shoot arrows at ghosts and the music goes boom. It's really fun. There's 48 games in total to beat in Tengoku. As is normal for Nintendo games and rhythm games, it has a, a soundtrack. It's not bad, it's got some really good songs, but nothing really gets stuck in my head. I am just think about... I've listened to the cur opening to Karate Man and I just giggle about the delivery of the... Hey, baby. How's it going? <laughs> Granted, I haven't beaten the game, I'm not the biggest fan of the soundtrack. Rhythm Tengoku really did not do very well. I mean, it was a Game Boy Advance game released in 2006, and it only sold 200,000 copies. Rhythm Tengoku was not the best game in the series. But, it was clear Nintendo cared about it. They made a Rhythm Tengoku arcade game in 2007, and a full-on sequel from a much more popular console in its peak. Rhythm Heaven for Nintendo DS came out in 2008. It's like a modern mobile game. You look at the game in portrait view by holding the DS sideways and tap and flick to play it. Great time with a great soundtrack. Every game in it is wacky as hell with way too good music. From the first game, Built to Scale, where you build weird looking widgets in a factory, to Fan Club, where you play as a monkey in a fan club for a pop star, and even Rhythm Rally, the electrodynamics of Rhythm Heaven, except for the fact that the music is actually good in Rhythm Rally. It is definitely a difficulty spike, but once you get into it, it's a great game. Something I didn't mention when I was talking about Rhythm Tengoku is the rating system. You can get four grades, try again, where you have to Try the level again. Okay and just okay, where you pass, but you're gonna do great. And superb. If you get superb, you get a medal. The medals unlock toys and endless games. Sometimes you can even get a perfect chance on a song. And if you get that and you do everything perfectly, you get a little reward. Blue Heaven DS is so far the best game in the series. It's also the best selling game with 3 million sales. But now I want you to put yourself in the shoes of a Rhythm Heaven fan in 2011. You've beaten the DS game too many times to count and gone perfect on every single song. You just hear rumors of a new game releasing in the Wii, and it's announced as... It's the best damn game you've ever seen. In my eyes, Fever is the perfect Rhythm Heaven game. Rhythm Heaven Fever is also the least Wii game to ever be released on the Wii. It uses pointer controls but only for menus, it doesn't force you to waggle the Wiimote or anything like that. It literally only uses the A and E buttons during gameplay. In the gameplay, it's amazing. Every minigame is so good. For example, Hole in Once you play golf with a monkey and his friend, Mandrill. He's a Mandrill. In Seesaw, you work for Osha and test out a Seesaw. In Monkey Watch, you play the worst for the minigame. mini game. There's truly a something for everyone in this game. The music is also the best fans of this series have ever heard. Every song from Hole in One to Packing Tests, and especially the remixes, are amazing. Even the menu music is a banger. If someone asks me what Nintendo game is the best soundtrack, it's probably going to end up being Rhythm Heaven Fever. Fever didn't like the world on fire, and only sold around 800,000 copies since it came out for the Wii in July of 2012, four months before the Wii U. Now, of course, the Wii U wasn't a seller, but that's talk for another time. Rhythm Heaven Fever would be the first and so far only home call to Rhythm Heaven game. But notice how I didn't say it's the last game. That's because there's still... The final Rhythm Heaven game I was reporting this video. The late 3DS years were a weird time for Nintendo. Some of its best games came out like 2017, 2018, 2016, whatever. But I can't name them. I mean, I guess Super Mario Maker and Mario were gold. But a game much more important to the discussion came out in 2016. Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. Mega Mix, much like the aforementioned Mario were gold, is a compilation title. Tons of games from across the series combined into one game. Games from Rhythm Heaven DS Coincidentally, dubbed Rhythm Heaven Gold, because that's what the Japanese title translates to. Now play with button control instead of touchscreen. Rhythm Rally is easier, I've been told. Here's the deal. I only got into Rhythm Heaven a couple months ago when I got recommended Fever. 
My Mod 3DS broke after I dropped it two years ago. Therefore, all I have to go on with my Megavix experience is people talking about it and watching RT gameplay it. So Megavix is kind of a weird game. It has a story mode and actually incorporates the endless game gatekeepers. And when I say it has a story mode, I mean it. This weird little dude falls down from Heaven World, which he spells H-E-V-V-E-N, and he wants you to help him get it back up. How do you do that? By playing Screwbot Factory, of course! But then Heaven Megamix has a good soundtrack, but that's a given since it's taking songs from Tengoku, first time it's acknowledged outside of Japan to my knowledge, Gold and Fever. Besides, the songs are Rhythm Rally from Rhythm Heaven Gold, Full on One from Rhythm Heaven Fever, and Shoot 'em Up, also from Rhythm Heaven. Although Megamix does have some unique songs, those are mainly remixes. It has the 4 minute long gauntlet known as Final Remix, something I wish more games would do. Imagine if when you beat Super Mario Bros. Wonder, you unlock on both where you play through like a screen of every single level back to back. There's a really good video of Final Remix, but it has every minigame in the series and it's 30 minutes long. I will link that in the description. Mega Mix really isn't mixed bad. I mean, it only sold a little over a million copies, which may have in, in part been to it being an eShop exclusive. That means you can't play it today, legally, unless you already owned it, or buy a 3DS with it installed. Again, I never played it, because when I was able to, I didn't even know about the series, and now I don't own a 3DS. Overall, Rhythm Heaven is one of Nintendo's best franchises. Even though it never sold very well, it has a dedicated fanbase and some of the company's best gameplay, and especially music. They never stray away from being weird or wacky for no reason, and the series director says that they want a new entry to happen. And the games usually release near the end of the console lifespan. So, it's not completely out of the cards for a Switch entry to come out. Obviously, the best case would be like a brand new game, but I'd accept a port of rather than having Mega Mix or Fever. Anyways, the final verdict. If you have a system that the game released on, play it. I'm not saying buy it. Fever might be a good game, but not spend $100 for a copy of it. And Mega Mix was a digital only 3DS game. You can download them from eShop on 3DS and other means for other systems. No matter which one you have, maybe not Goku, but everything else, you're sure to have a good time. Although the final verdict is not the end of the video, there is some more. Any community big enough will have fan projects. There's even some Green Guy Goes Grappling fan games. The Rhythm Heaven community is no different. There's three major things I want to talk about. Heaven Studio is a program that lets you make your own remixes. You can stick together a bunch of minigames in your own song, and they can play it. You can make a playable Rhythm Heaven remix, that's pretty cool, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it with Heaven Studio. Rhythm Heaven Reanimated is very simple to explain. A bunch of people got together and animated the final remixes in every game. It's great and I'll leave a link to it and the comparison with the original next to it. Watch it if you have like 20 minutes to spare. Funkin Heaven is actually my own Friday Night Funkin mod that adds 4 Rhythm Heaven songs to the game. It's not done yet and you can't play it yet. But, it's being made in Psych Engine, and we'll have two songs from Gold and two songs from Fever. Tengoku could be added later, and Final Remix was planned, but I don't want to make a 4 minute long song. Yet. Anyways, I hope to get it out by the end of this year. That's pretty much it. I'll try to make another video like this one soon, just on something else I'm interested in. Some ideas I've had are the Wii U, motion controls in general, the metaverse versus what people actually want, aka VR chat, and game engines for kids. The algorithmic gods force me to tell you to like, subscribe, and press the bell. And if you if you have any ideas for me, just leave a comment, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.